Hey guys, Fishmonger here. Uh, this is more of a preview video than it is anything else because I wanted to get this out while this item was still for sale and available on sale because had I waited for it to come in and get a review on it and this, that, the other thing, um, it could be too late. Um, you might be able to miss up on this opportunity. But right now on the Acer Recertified website, which is uh, acerrecertified.com, they have uh, this quote-unquote mixed reality headset, which is actually more basically a VR headset. I'll get into that later though. Um, but right now it's on sale for $149 and that's with free shipping. So basically it's $149. You pay that, you're done. Might be some tax involved, but um, this is a hell of a price because these usually sell for like 400 bucks new um, and you know, used or even still a good couple hundred dollars. So the fact that you're getting this direct from the Acer uh, website, factory recertified with the factory warranty and all that stuff, um, is a great deal for $150. And what are these? Essentially, they say mixed reality, but it's not the mixed reality that you'd think when you think of HoloLens or anything like that. They just call it mixed reality because the Acer thing in Windows is trying to create this system of quote-unquote mixed reality where it's all these different types of VR stuff. Essentially, it's a VR headset. It's no different than like an HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift or anything like that. Um, however, it's a slight changes where, for instance, those two uh, require you to have room sensors uh, placed around so you can kind of actually get up and do like immersive VR and stuff. This is more or less, um, there's no room sensors involved. Um, so all the sensing is done directly with the headset. Um, so basically it tracks everything where you're at based on that. And um, it's got some slight uh, differences as far as some of the specs go. But for the most part, it's fairly the same. They use the standard kind of uh, VR kind of ha uh, handsets that you'd have um, because there's no room tracking or anything like that or external sensors. All the tracking for the, uh, the, the controllers is done via the headset. So there are like slight problems when it comes to things like if you're moving your hands to the side or behind you, um, you might lose tracking if it doesn't see it. So a lot of the stuff that you do, you'd have to have your hands kind of in front. But for the most part, most everybody does things in VR like that anyway. So I didn't, for 150 bucks, I didn't think this would be a major killer. Um, the reason I really wanted to get this is because this is essentially a 2880 by 1440 monitor for your head in virtual reality. Um, you don't need to use the, the handsets for this. You can certainly just use a mouse and keyboard and do everything like you would. Um, and because of my new uh, workstation that I've got here, where I really don't have the room for the three uh, desktops that I did before for everything with, with uh, when I had my setup, um, I thought this would actually be kind of neat just to kind of use for like 2D virtual reality, a virtual uh, desktop kind of thing where I have this huge immersive um, system, basically desktop system that I can use, or even things like watching Netflix or Hulu and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, I thought it'd be neat, you know, 150 bucks. It's like a pretty dang good steal. Um, I could probably just turn around and resell this on eBay for like 300 something bucks if I wanted to, um, or somebody on Craigslist to actually make money off of it. Um, so I, I can't really complain. You know, there's been people like, um, uh, Linus Tech Tips, uh, did a video on these and pretty much it was like positive, um, for the price, which at that time, wasn't $150. Again, I'm getting mine factory recertified. Um, so it was uh, saying it was uh, pretty decent uh, as far as how everything went. You know, he had the, some minor problems with it, which is like the things I, I kind of talked about, but nothing major. Um, Amazon is uh, getting really good reviews on this thing. They're actually currently selling it for $264 and that's new. Um, it's got three and a half stars. If you look at some of the customer reviews, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a mixed bag, but for the most part, it's pretty good. You know, good headset. Um, this guy's saying it's uh, he has an HTC Vive. Um, it isn't usable with uh, uh, WMR, um, which is the Vive. So he bought this Acer headset. It's lighter than that. It has an advantage. Tracking is good. Um, display quality is good. Not quite as good as the HTC, but um, for the most part, it's it's really good. Um, it's built into the Microsoft. Oh, and this is Steam VR compatible also. So it's you can get apps directly from the Microsoft Store and the Steam VR Store, which is really, really nice. Um, and this guy saying it's really good, five stars. The other guy was saying it's good. You know, one of the other thing is you have to me measure your IPD or your interpupillary distance, which is the distance between your eyes, the gap. Um, this does not have uh, adjustable uh, things on it. It's kind of like a fixed set. However, it's fixed mainly for people who have normal size heads. And I kind of fall into that category, which is good. Um, see, it says you should measure, you should get into the range of, 59 to 67. Do I want to move this? Uh, okay. Well, I have my uh, micrometers back there, and I did measure it. I'm within that range, uh, which is nice. Uh, but you know, people are saying that they're really good. You know, for and they're buying it at the uh, the stock price. So 
You go to, uh, again, the website, it's uh, acerrecertified.com. You can pick this up for 150 bucks. They're still in stock right now. I have no idea how much longer they're going to stay at this price. But once I get them in and I get them set up and I start playing with them, I'll actually make a video just kind of detailing them because I've always kind of wanted to get into VR stuff. And, you know, I got all those uh, video cards in my mining rigs. I got like 1070 Ti's and stuff like that right now in my most powerful cards, but they're more than capable of doing VR. Hell, right now my rig's got a 1050 in it. And I could probably play VR games that are just kind of simple geometry kind of games and stuff like that. And I could certainly just do desktop stuff, which is really all I wanted to do with this um, for the most part. Um, but I'll happily swap some of the cards around and put one of my 1070 Ti's in my main computer for a little bit so I can kind of actually do some potential VR gaming and kind of see how that works out or whatever. Uh, I do have a very large kitchen behind me, so if I actually really wanted to, this is a really good setup for that. I can move the kitchen table back and I have like a... 15 foot by 25 foot area to actually do like a whole bunch of VR stuff. So um, while my desk is a little bit cramped for computer work, it's great for VR work. So um, that's kind of a plus, I guess, in that aspect. So I'm going to be uh, kicking out real quick, just a short little video on this. Um, you could pick this thing up. Um, you know, hopefully if you're interested in something like this, this is a good deal for you. You know, uh, this video helped you out. You can give it a little like and a thumbs up and all that good stuff. And I will catch you on the flip side. This is Fishmonger signing out.